Welcome to our 21 days of prayer and fasting. But before we even start our fast, it'd be good if we learned some things or understood some things about how to prepare ourselves properly for fasting. So the first four episodes in this series are just gonna help you to prepare for your fast, okay? So we're gonna start with day, I call it minus four. What really is fasting? Well, fasting is eliminating something for a period of time so that we can intentionally uh, uh, and willingly experience a greater dependence uh, and intimacy on our God, okay? So our top priority in any fast should be to draw closer to Jesus. But a, a good second priority should be to experience maybe healing from something, uh, deliverance from something, or to gain something more from the Lord, okay? So uh, as we plan our fast, we must desire and be willing to be released from unmet appetites, unmet longings, so that we can find greater uh, hope and satisfaction in our God. So consequently, there are certain principles that we must keep in mind as we start our fast. Number one, fasting requires refocusing. Okay, fasting requires refocusing. It's about redirecting our appetites uh, away from physical things and towards spiritual things, and more precisely to, towards God. Okay, fasting is about reducing our physical attractions and increasing our spiritual attractions uh, toward God. Okay, um, fasting is reducing our dependence dependence on the things of the world and increasing our dependence uh, on the things of God and on God Himself. Fasting should include eliminating both needs and comforts. Uh, an effective fast, therefore, will challenge our body for sure, and and also our mind, and also our so so that our spirit can develop. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It will challenge our body, challenge our mind, challenge our emotions, so that our spirit can develop. And although a person can fast many different forms, okay, many different physical items, uh, one of the best ways to accomplish this is to include food fasting, uh, in some way anyway, uh, either all foods or at least some selected foods, okay. Uh, number two, fasting requires planning, okay. Fasting is much more than simply eliminating something. Uh, elimination only causes discomfort, okay. Uh, fasting also involves adding something and that something is spiritual practices uh, which are designed to draw us closer to god okay so we exchange the time and energy that we would normally spend focusing on physical activities and instead we use that time and that energy focusing on the things of god so we have to have a plan uh, for what we're going to focus on and also what we're going to practice as we go through our time of fasting Number three, fasting requires a positive mindset. If fasting only makes us grumpy uh, or tense, it's not going to accomplish its purpose. Okay, fasting, uh, we, we must be spiritually motivated during our time of fasting. We must uh, prepare for fasting with thanksgiving for what God is about to do. Uh, then every day of our fast, we, we must thank God for what he is doing in our lives. Whether we feel different or not, we still thank God in faith for what he's doing. And we must end our fast with a time of praise, worship, thanksgiving, thanking God for what we did experience and looking forward in greater expectation for even more fruit uh, in, to be manifested in our lives in the days ahead. Number four. Fasting requires using the wisdom. Uh, fasting should be physically man uh, uh, manageable. So, uh, so you have to know your own health situation. Not everybody can fast for 40 days, but pretty well everyone can fast at least one meal a day. Uh, but you need to know your own health limitations. A good fast should be challenging to some degree, uh, but it must also be within the constraints of our physical health. Okay. We must be aware of what our personal body can manage. And so we need to maybe ask our doctor what we can do or what we, you know, if we're unsure of what we can manage. Uh, so use wisdom. Uh, number five, uh, fasting 
requires creativity. Every person is different, okay? And so we must practice uh, our fast within a way or with a, in a way that pushes us towards Jesus, okay? Remember, as with all spiritual disciplines, our focus is not on the method itself. Our focus is, is about how it deepens our relationship with God. And so we should ask ourselves and ask God, what things do you want me to fast, God? What things should I fast? And what discipline should I practice that will help me personally to draw closer to you, God? And then we make a plan and then we commit to it. And if you use these five principles as you prepare for your personal fast, it will really help you to have a more effective fast. Okay, so see you next time for another episode of 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting.